this is what was going on. Mm. So the prison officers, and this is my point, welcomed all this. They wanted the prisoners to keep coming back and yes. back again. Now, before we, we go on, can I give a few figures, which I'm sure you're very well aware of? In 1947, there were precisely 2,400 men and women in the prison service, servicing a population of inmates of 15,800. That was a ratio of one prison screw to six and a half inmates. Mm. Today, there are 18,000 prison officers, and as you said, there are 47,000 inmates, which is a proportion of one prison officer to every two and a half inmates. And today, in addition to having larger numbers of prison staff, they have grotesquely more overtime, for which they're overpaid. And the whole business is geared to producing them, for them, a high income told, with hardly any return. And yet we're told they can't let the prisoners out because they're overworked. That's well, right. Uh, That's uh, entirely... I, it's a prison I, industry. And I you've got to remember this. Yes, you I, people I, who haven't well, been well, inside yes, well, must yes, remember yes. that it's providing employment for well. 18,000... 700 men so and women, which is 1,700 more than four years ago. But it's the fastest growing industry. Who made some, some views towards it, uh, prison officers getting as much as a cabinet minister. Well, well I'm, I'm conscious. conscious. I, I'm conscious.